Hello travelers, today we're taking a look at the ultimate body bar from 100 Senses, which is perhaps one of the best and most versatile travel soaps that I've used so far. I bought this with my own money and it wasn't sent to me for review. I was recommended to check this out by a viewer by the name of Cinema Roll, so thank you for the recommendation. It is advertised as on the 100 Senses site as being not a soap, because it is in fact soap free. It has a pH level of 5.5, which means that it's non-drying and doesn't strip the natural oils from your hands or hair as you use it. It is advertised as being great for washing your body, hair, and as well as a shaving soap as you can see here. The part about using it as a shaving soap is what interested me the most. I've travelled usually with my JR Leggett soap, as you can see here it's a bit dry and worn out now. And I also sometimes use the Dr. Bronner's bar, but neither of those are really suitable or advertised for being good for shaving. As you can see here, I decided to give it a try for shaving. I have to say it is quite a nice leather, although not as thick as my usual spec uh, shaving soap, which is this one that I usually travel with here. But if I can eliminate one more item from my bag, that's a great thing in my book. I love finding more versatile items that can do more than one thing. I found it quite good for shaving, and I noticed I didn't get quite as many cuts or irritations after using it. And I don't know if that's due to the pH level or the softness of the soap, but it is really great for shaving. So next I tried using it for washing my clothes, which is something that it's not advertised as being good for. But I did talk to someone from 100 Senses by email and they said it should be fine for that purpose. And also actually for washing dishes. It worked quite well and I used the method of rinsing the soap in the water as you can see here, which I found worked just as well as previous bars that I've used. You can click up in the top right to see a more in-depth video of washing your clothes while traveling that I did recently. Finally, I used it for washing my hair as you can see here, and I tried two methods. So the first method of application was applying it directly to my hair and lathering up, and the second method was, was by rubbing the soap with my hands and building up a lather, and then putting that lather in my hair. I did prefer the second method as I found that it does lather up quite nicely. This lather that you build in your hands is also great for using it as a body wash. And although it's not very drying, they do recommend using a separate conditioner if you do need to condition your hair usually. So in terms of traveling the spa, it does come on their website with a dedicated pouch. Um, but as you can see here, it actually fits very nicely into this Matador travel soap pouch as well. And that's what I will be using to travel with it and what I've found to work quite well. Also, I should mention this one here that I have is the lavender scent which smells great and I really love the smell of it, but they do also have four other scents, uh, three scented ones and one that is unscented. So it is fairly pricey at 26 US dollars or 39 Australian, and they don't yet offer international shipping, so I had to use uh, an expensive shipping forwarding service from the US to actually get this to try it out. I believe though that 100 Senses is working on a more widespread international shipping method soon. So overall a really great and versatile non-soap bar that can do all the things you need to do on your travels and smells great. It doesn't get soft and dry and fall apart like some other soaps as you can see here. And I do think it's actually really great and will be worth the price. So that's it, thanks very much for watching. Um, be sure to let me know down in the comments um, what is your favourite travel soap or um, if you're planning to get this one or another one. And be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.